Time to catch up with UTRGV women's basketball. This is the head coach of the UTRGV women's basketball team, the one and only Larry Tidwell. Well, I appreciate it, Dr. J. This is Jonah Goldberg, the media relations guru for UTRGV Media Relations. We're back on a, another show. Got a big week coming up. Had a, big, had a big week. Had a real good feeling. Had a real bad feeling. So now we're going to try to get back to those good feelings again. Yeah, uh, 60-46 win over CSU Bakersfield, the 74-71 last second loss to Seattle. And, uh, you know, let's look at that Bakersfield game. You know, that's a team that you that you played with so much emotion three times last year, including uh, the major <laughs> comeback in the WAC tournament right. semifinals. So nice to pick up uh, another victory over them. Uh, yeah, they're they're quite a, quite a good rival. I mean, there's no question. They play hard. We play hard. Uh, we came in with a great mindset. We played really good defense. We held them to 28% shooting, uh, league-leading defense that we put out there. Uh, Shante Goff was phenomenal, 19, 19 points, 12 rebounds, and, and just one turnover in 40 minutes. And then you come back, Hilder Carson Tartar found the range, 16 points, and uh, Nichelle Hyman, 8 points, Anushka, 8 points, 11 rebounds. Uh, Rock had eight rebounds. I mean, Adele Turk came in and gave me some minutes. So did Lele Havili. We were very, we limited about seven or eight people in the rotation, but really got some good minutes and, and hung in there, hit some shots. Still not hitting the way I think we're capable of hitting, but pulled out a big uh, 60 to 46 win. And, and you just got to appreciate that was, that was a battle in there. Like, like, uh, like our assistant, my assistant coach Gabe Henry says, it was a dog fight. And uh, every time we're in there battling, I appreciate what Anushka, what Hilda does when Lele comes off the bench. Laura Van Tilber, I mean, <coughs> they're in there battling, rock. And uh, then you got oh, uh, Shante Goff, all 110 pounds over mm -hmm. in there grabbing, grabbing uh, you know, 11 rebounds or 12 rebounds. I mean, phenomenal part. Big win for us. And in that game, you're down 7 nothing over the first six minutes. And just completely undaunted, came right back and just took the lead. They hit three or four shots well, in a row. Well, people, people are really going to take a good shot at us. I mean, they're going to, what's that old song, hit me with your best shot? I mean, fire away. They're going to they're gonna try to fire away on us. We got a little respect in this league. Uh, went into that game 5-0. and oh, and um, or Excuse me, went into that game 4-0, and oh, made it 5-0. and oh, But people are going to come after us because, uh, you know, to get to a WAC championship, the, the road through it is going to definitely be uh, the road's going to lead to Edinburgh, McAllen, and it's going to lead to uh, Las Cruces. So we, we uh, are going to have people ready to play us. Well, and that was the case really throughout the weekend. You know, like you even look at, at the Seattle game. Uh, at one point, Seattle was able to build a lead as much as 13 before you came back on them too. Yeah, well, I'd rather much be a, you know, my, one of my favorite sayings is, unless you lead, the scenery never changes. <laughs> and uh, I like to see different seniors, so I'd rather be out leading. So, but again, a, a big factor in the, the Cal State game, as we did come back, our crowd was phenomenal. We had yeah. uh, over 1,200 people at the game, and we continue to go those, grow those crowds. I can remember in our first year where you look out and there's maybe 75 or 100 people there, and we've grown those crowds. I know our average now is up to over 800 per game at home. So we got to continue to do that. And they've been deafening at points over the last weekend. It, it makes a lot of fun. Well, it does. Our crowd is exceptional. And, and again, I've said this many times, our, our pep band is as good as any I've ever been around. I've been in the Big 12. I've been in the Mountain West, the WAC, Conference USA. Our, our guys do a great job in the pep band and the girls. And then our dance team, our cheerleaders are all first class. So we, we have a good thing going. We have a lot of entertainment in the field house. We just got to make sure that we do our part on it. This weekend provided an opportunity for a pair of freshmen to step up and uh, it, see some more playing time. And they, they both had some pretty good results, Nichelle Hyman and Adil Turk. Well, Nichelle uh, Hyman is just a defensive uh, demon. I mean, she's doing a really good job for a freshman and learning how to come, you know, not get picked off a screen. She's going either underneath, over, you know, over the top. I mean, rebounding uh, hustle player for us, and we appreciate what she's done. And then uh, we knew Adele Turk could do it. It just took a little time to develop her. You know, she wasn't here for summer school. She was back in, in Canada finishing up her degree, 
and so she wasn't here and so now she's just getting caught up and uh, really had a breakthrough moment against Seattle hit some big shots 15 points um, you just got to commend her for hanging in there having a positive attitude and her and Michelle and Bernice Peters those three probably without question work as hard as anybody I have on the team amazing to have a trio of freshman guards uh, that have developed like that at this you know just halfway through the first season yeah and and I appreciate the hard work uh, Anthony Anderson and Hannah work with the guards Gabe also works with the guards they'll get there early Gabe has a routine especially with Turk and uh, Anthony works with uh, Bernicia and you know we're all in there trying to get better and Michelle's just everywhere she wants to get better so you appreciate the effort of those three freshmen. And Turk uh, had uh, an amazing moment with time winding down and down by two she picks up a steal <laughs> with the shot clock off so you don't have to foul and uh, she's able to come down and tie the game. Uh, she is and we just appreciate the fact that again her work ethic uh, she's a great kid to coach great kid to coach first class and then against Seattle you know we lost that one 74 71 they hit a shot with six seconds left uh, hit a three-pointer uh, broke down a little bit on our coverage and you know it happens but that's a game where we got out rebounded for the first time and, and that's not a good thing we gave up 23 offensive boards and you know they were physical inside you got to give them credit but um, it is what it is, and we just got to keep keep getting better because the thing about rebounding, on the inside, their post players were not significantly the ones getting the rebounding on their guards rebounding. And we got to keep those guards off the boards, and they're the ones that did us in, basically. Well, 55 total three-pointers attempted in the game uh, between the two teams. Uh, led to you know, a lot of longer rebounds with a lot of misses. A lot of wrong, a lot of... We always say long shot, long rebound. Yeah. And, you know, we had a lot of opportunities to put that game away, and we didn't. And we had some opportunities to, to put herself in position to win. And, and uh, when it comes to uh, a lot of things happened on the floor, uh, certain calls were made that I didn't agree with. So we'll just say no comment on that because I was not happy at all. Well, Next up, you, you take on New Mexico State and battle the top two teams in the WAC and uh, a chance to pull even for first place in your WAC tournament championship rematch. Well, it is. It's uh, definitely we're looking forward to it. Um, you know, I've heard comments, oh, y'all were looking. No, we weren't looking forward to them. I mean, they sort of asked Turk about that, and she doesn't. You know, she doesn't understand all that stuff. We were definitely had our sights set on Seattle. We weren't looking ahead to anybody because we're not good enough to do that and when we're focused and we take care of business and we act on the court the way we need to act as far as you know if a call's made don't let it blow you up or things along that line be sure and communicate on screen know your assignments know where to go then uh, we're a pretty good team but when we when we vary from that we're not a very good team well, now you do get the chance to look ahead. For that is your next matchup. No Thursday game this week. Does that does that help you to not have a Thursday game when you're getting ready for this kind of game? I like a routine. I wish we had a Thursday game. I mean, it just gets you ready. But the thing that's that's been exciting around here, uh, Jonah, is we're getting people to the game. This past week, we had almost 2,500 people in our gym, and that's uh, unprecedented as far as. You know, consistent crowds, things along that line. We're averaging, I believe now, over 800 uh, people per home game. We need to make that 1,500 or more. I mean, as you build this program, kids, as you recruit, players want to come to play where there's people in the stands. And that helps recruiting. And with the broadcast we have with Time Warner, and what, what you and Tony, I mean, it's, it's incredible how many homes we're getting into and that helps recruiting and if you help recruiting then that's where you build a program that is going to last for a long time. Well UTRGV plays host to New Mexico State. Uh, it's the WAC Digital Network Game of the Week and then you'll also be able to catch it later on on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel 323 throughout the state of Texas. It's 7 p.m. on Saturday. The first 200 fans in attendance are going to receive 
three t-shirts that say unfinished business on them. Well, we definitely have some unfinished business, but uh, before we have unfinished business, we better do our homework. And so mm -hmm. we plan on having three great practices, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, walk through on Friday, game time on Saturday. So yeah. we got to get our V's up. Go get him, Coach. <laughs> He's Larry Tidwell. He's the head coach of the UTRGV women's basketball team. Uh, this is Dr. J, the original Dr. J. <laughs> hey, I don't know who the other guy is, but we do appreciate all the efforts we get. Uh, Jonah from your department, Danny Elizondo, Sarah, Kara Lara, all those guys are really good, and we appreciate what they do for our program. I well, appreciate you, Coach. And until next week. Get your bees up. <laughs>